Today we are dealing with a topic that is near and dear to our hearts, and that is the phenomenon of ghosting. So, Patrick, have you ever been ghosted before? Not only have I been ghosted, I've ghosted somebody else. Oh. One time, I was even ghosting somebody while they were ghosting me. <laughs> It was a double ghost. Yeah. It was like oh. the inception of ghosting. It was a ghost within ghosts. You ghosted each other. It gets really confusing. What do you do? I started spinning a top. <laughs> I I got really messed up. So with all of your experience ghosting yes. both ways, yes. uh, is it okay to ghost somebody in this day and age? I am going to say without a doubt, yes. But Ooh. I have to put a pretty strong condition Ooh, okay. on it, right? Yeah. Anything after date number five, it's going to be a no. You have to give some sort of explanation why you're breaking up with someone. But as long as you're within dates one through five, I say ghost away. And you know why? <laughs> well, I, I want to hear why because I have a feeling that some of these viewers are not going to be agreeing with this right away. Okay, and that's fair. Yeah. But let me, let me make the strongest point I can for it. Okay. At, you are only built, whether you're a guy or a girl, to receive so much personal rejection before you start to wonder, is there something legitimately wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> and listen, there might be. There might be, yeah. But most cases, it just means you haven't met the right. It's all circumstantial, sure, right? Sure. So you're entrusting somebody who has only been on like five dates with you mm -hmm. to give you the breakup, a, a full evaluation of the right. relationship that you guys have had. Relationship that you guys have had right. so far, like yeah. WTF. Yeah. <laughs> like you basically, you're relying on somebody to be a a, a breakup expert yeah. when they're probably just some bozo. Who works in like information systems? Yeah. Right? What yeah. do they know about it? Yeah. It would be like if someone was choking on an airplane and a doctor was running back from first class and I was like, hang on, buddy. I took CPR certification five years ago. Sure. Let me handle this. Sure. Right? You would never, you, you want the expert coming in at that point. Absolutely. And the experts are this person's friend, guy or girl. The person's friends can come in and be like, listen, honey, he's probably just really busy at work. Or, you know what? Her dog, her dog might have just died. Right. I think I saw on Instagram that she was like, Posting with her dog in a heart, yeah. she's gonna just die. Yeah. You know, so I think if they can write that fan fiction for you, yeah. they can give you the proper breakup that you deserve. Well, that's a good point because, you know, sometimes the they can recreate their own reality, right? which might be actually better than what the real reason, the real reality for this breakup was, right? Yes. It's gonna be way easier to hear that 100%. his dog died, or he's too busy at work, or whatever than, uh, ego, your breath stinks, <laughs> right? I mean, way easier to hear Honey, that. Honey, you own your own home, he's still renting. He was intimidated by you. Yeah, right, exactly. You know? So sometimes you could just kinda leave it at that and not have to go any further because you might realize, too, that uh, at that threshold of dates, it might actually be a little presumptuous to assume that they even want to continue this relationship exactly. more than what it already is, exactly. right? Exactly. For all you know, they might be dating three other guys or three other girls or whatever. Very important. And maybe they just wanted to continue this casual thing. Maybe they had this idea of this relationship that was totally separate from what your idea of it was. This guy likes the outdoors, the other guy I'm dating doesn't like the outdoors. So yeah. I'm hiking with this guy. Exactly. And you might go through this full motion of a breakup after like three dates, yeah. and they're gonna be like, hey yo, <laughs> what the hell man? <laughs> Chill dude. <laughs> Chill dude. <laughs> so I think totally 100% if yes. you are within that threshold, it is okay to ghost away. Yes. But anything beyond that, you gotta own up to Be it. a responsible and accountable yeah, adult and break sure. up with someone properly if it's before five dates. Now, one thing that is underrated about ghosting, mm. the thrill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the two or three days after you've decided I'm stopped texting this person, mm. anytime you get the little vroom, vroom in your pocket, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and am I about to get like a dressing down from this person? Yeah. It's really it's really quite a thrill. You'll feel alive. That's true. It's an adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah. If there's ever been one. So, uh, speaking of adrenaline rushes, have you ever left a comment in our comment <laughs> section? Because go ahead and do that. Man, you will never feel more alive in your life. That's right. You will never feel more alive in your life. So let us know whether you agree with us or not. Can you ghost? Can you not? Well, we'll find out. I have a feeling we're gonna get some pretty strong no's <laughs> in our <laughs> comments. Some people are very, very anti-ghosting. That's and right. And we want to hear from you. So and please We comment. want to hear from you. So let us know in the comments below. And until then, we will see you all next time. Adios, y'all.